Well, good morning, everyone. So glad you guys are here this morning. We get the privilege of uh, celebrating the ordinance of believers' baptism. I'm here today with my friend Ed. And uh, Ed, uh, has there been a time in your life where you've put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? Yes. Tell <clears throat> me about that time. My wife passed away uh, four years ago, and it was extremely hard for me. And uh, God reached out to me one Saturday morning to let me know that she was okay. And I knew then that God was trying to tell me something. And since I've joined this church, people I've met through Bible study, has really helped me and it's turned me towards God. And God's reached to me and said, Ed, you, you need to give yourself to Christ. And that's exactly what I want to do. Amen. So, uh, Ed, you and I were talking about what God's been doing. Tell me about your life before Christ. What was your life like before you met Jesus? Oh, gosh. Uh, before, uh, it, it was kind of like you, you wanted to follow the people that impressed you with wealth, with material things, and uh, trying to keep up with everybody. And uh, just, uh, you know, it, it, there was no sense of direction. And uh, when I joined the Navy, I finally got that sense of direction. And uh, that was, that was uh, the beginning of, of uh, what uh, character w w should be all about. Sounds like the Navy was a big part of your life, and you met your wife, and you were kind of going the way of the world and doing the, doing the world's thing, living the Navy life, being a husband and all that good stuff, but yet it sounds like you were still missing something, and then when you lost your wife, God began to do something in your heart and life, and he led you to the point of knowing you needed him and you desired to put your faith and trust in him and live for him. Is that right? With all my heart. I know uh, from when we were talking, that was one of the things I really felt compelled by your story. I've got his story right here as he wrote it out for me. And, and uh, Ed, you were saying in your story that it is the overwhelming desire of your heart and life today to live for Christ and to honor him and to tell others about him. Is that true? That is very true. Amen. What's God been doing in your life since you put your faith and trust in him? It's made me realize just how short life is. But as a verse in John about baptism says that flesh is to flesh, but spirit is to spirit, and it's like the wind. You don't know the direction, but it's always there. Amen. God's been moving in your life, hasn't he? Amen. Well, based upon your open and unashamed confession of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bear the Christ through baptism. A raise to walk in brand new life. <laughs> Amen. You can walk right up that way, my man. <clears throat> I'll tell you, it's an amazing thing to watch men stand for Christ just like he has. And so um, I think it's important for us to realize that in our lives, especially for us as men, the most manly thing you can do is to recognize your sinfulness and your need for a Savior. Um, men, we cannot save ourselves. Men, we are not strong enough, smart enough, or, or capable enough um, to deliver ourselves from the penalty of our sin. We must acknowledge Jesus Christ as our Savior, as Ed, is, as Ed has done. And we must come to that place where we are willing to submit ourselves to him and to his work in our lives. And I pray that today, if there's any man or woman here that's not put their faith and trust in Jesus, that you would do that today. Would you pray with me? Father, thank you for the privilege of this opportunity to share in not only Ed's story, Lord, and his salvation experience, but Father God, I thank you for calling to him and then showing us through him, Lord, what it means to love God and to live for you. Lord, I pray that today you would uh, encourage those of us that have trusted in you through his testimony of baptism, Lord. I pray for those that, God, you're calling to right now to put your faith and trust in Jesus, that, God, they would do that today. And Father, may you get the glory. So, Father God, in all the things that we do today, in every moment of worship, in every prayer that's offered, God, you get the glory. We pray that in Jesus' holy name and all God's children said, amen. Let's stand and worship the Lord together this morning.